Hello, it's about half past four in the morning and I'm on my way to Wales because I've been invited down to take a look at a very interesting and unique transportational device. So unique in fact, I think it's worth the four and a half hour drive. So I'm gonna get that out of the way and I will see you guys in Wales. Welcome to Wales. This is a boat, but it has wheels and can drive on land. It's a crazy machine designed by the Dutch and built by the Welsh with parts and help from New Zealand. It's got 230 brake horsepower and today I'll be taking it for a spin across the River Towie. I say me, I mean the qualified boatman. The Towie is a 75 mile long river making it one of the longest in Wales and its estuary is guarded by Clan Stefan Castle which is all the way over there. If only there was a quick and efficient way for me to get across this massive estuary. I could drive around or take the bus, but that's long and because there's no railway in Clan Stefan, a train is out of the question. So of course, I'll be taking the ferry, just like they did in the Middle Ages. Okay, not quite like they did in the Middle Ages, but certainly back in the old days, if you wanted to visit Clan Stefan, your quickest option was by boat and a ferry service was set up between Ferryside and Clan Stefan that in one way or another operated from the 11th century right up until 1958. And during the 1920s and 30s, it was a popular destination for Welsh holidaymakers who would take the train from Carmarthen to Ferryside and then jump on the boat over to Clan Stefan. But with the rise of the automobile and public transport such as buses, the ferry saw a decline in use, leading to its closure in the 1950s. Until 2018, when a new ferry service and boat was put into action by the Carmarthen Bay Ferries Community Interest Company, and I've tracked down Andrew, who's on the board of directors, to ask him, why did they bother? There had been a ferry service here since the 1200s, that ferry service stopped in around about 1958 and then 2017 uh, a group of local people here started sourcing funding through the Coastal Communities Grant Fund. We were fortunate enough to be awarded a grant which have allowed us to design and build the ferry service which allows us to connect San Stefan and Ferryside. Prior to that the only way you could get between these two villages was by driving a full 18, 17 miles round up to Carmarthen down the other side which is the best part of the 45 minute 50 minutes drive. Uh, so ferry service allows the two villages to connect to each other, um, just like it had done since time immemorial, part of an early pilgrimage route, really. All right, enough to your chat. Let's talk about the boat. Or is it a car? It's actually an amphibious boat. With its twin 115 horsepower engines on land, it's capable of speeds like eight kilometers an hour. So what's that? Maybe five miles an hour? I could probably run faster than that if I'm honest, but it's a boat that drives rather than a car that floats. So it obviously performs a little better on the water where it will propel us at 35 miles an hour across the Towie. And in a matter of minutes, we'll be arriving at the beaches of Land Stefan. And it's at the shoreline where this contraption gets to show off its party piece, which comes as a result of it operating within a tidal river estuary. The issue with the traditional boats are that they can only get so close to the land before they run aground, and this problem is a whole lot worse when it's a shallow, muddy tidal river estuary. The way around that is to build super long jetties out into the deeper areas of water, but here they'd be so long you might as well consider building a bridge, which doesn't make sense for many other reasons. Fortunately, with modern technology, someone has come up with a solution, and it's the amphibious boat. It can drive from on land into the river and then pop out on the other side wherever is most appropriate, doing away with the need for any jetties or infrastructure. But how does it work? It's surprisingly simple actually, and its three legs with wheels are best compared to an aircraft's landing gear. Similarly, the boat's legs are hydraulically operated and can be raised and lowered accordingly, and its front wheel is steerable when on the ground, or land, beach, I don't know, but when the boat nears the shore it will lower its landing gear, make contact with the ground and then it drives out of the water, its wheels being powered by small hydraulic motors. It's an amazing system that does away with the need of launching and landing a boat in the traditional and time consuming manner. With this you can be across the river in five minutes. The system of legs is known as the sea leg system and it came about in 2005 after development in Auckland, New Zealand. And whilst today we're having a jolly on the River Towie, the system has been used in more serious applications such as search and rescue where every second counts. You don't want to be fannying around untying some ropes, rather just jump in and go. As for the boat itself, it's called Glan Stefan. It's a twin engine boat that can carry 10 passengers and it was built by a company based in Wales called Robust Boats. They specialize in using aluminium to construct boats, which I thought was a stupid idea, but it turns out they know better. It's lighter, stronger, more fireproof, and more repairable than fiberglass, but it does cost more though, but then I suppose you get what you pay for, and who wants to ride on a cost-effective boat? 
The boat has been built and designed to incorporate the sea leg system, which makes this boat a bit of a worldwide effort, and it's the only amphibious boat that you can ride on in the country. The ferry service relies very heavily on volunteers. We only pay the skippers because they're commercially endorsed skippers, but all of the other people, the crew, the shore crew, they're all volunteers and they donate their time very kindly to us. Without them, we really couldn't survive as a company. Um, if anybody out there is interested in giving some of their time uh, to volunteer, it can either be on the boat or it could be website design, anything like that, visit our website, commandbayferries.com and get in touch with us, please. Thank you. The guys at Carmarthen Bay Ferries operate the boat on a voluntary basis and usually over the weekends, bank holidays and school holidays run boat tours and trips that will take you around the area, offering a unique perspective of this fine country. And you can even book a sunset tour if you're looking for something just that little bit more special. But if nothing else, you get to ride in one of only a few amphibious boats operating on a centuries old ferry route for 20 quid a ticket. So if you're holidaying in the area this summer, why not come and take a ride on Glen Staffan and explore the river the Towie and Bay Area from a different perspective on board a very different transportational device that offers a journey like no other. Thanks for watching. Where's the clutch pedal? It's down on the... <laughs> it's outside. <laughs> <laughs>